Greetings, everyone. The only thing that stands between you and the thing you desire is you. Step aside, step out of your own way, and then ask, and it is yours. So, for example, on the screen, you're seeing this beautiful vase with flowers. My daughter said that's what she wanted. That's one of the things she wanted for her birthday, and we got it for her. I have taught my children that anything you want, just ask for it. As long as what you're asking for does not infringe on someone else's freedom or someone else's happiness. So you don't ask for something that belongs to someone else. You don't even look and say, I want one like that. Ask for the thing that you desire based on your own happiness, based on what is going to improve your life, and so on and so forth. So many of us are constantly looking at the problems in front of us and we never ever look at how we can change the way we think by saying I am blessed you bring more blessings to you by saying I am beautiful and not just looking at beauty on the outside but inside you want to become that you're making this declaration about who you are and who you want to become or you're looking at the things that you desire and focus on those and those alone. So please step aside and step out of blocking your own progress. If you look closely at the choices or decisions we make sometimes in life, we'll see that we endured our own progress or our own prosperity. So to just say I am blessed is not very difficult and yet people will not say that. You can say different things that are negative so easily you say these negative things about yourself sometimes you say it like it's a joke but anything you open your mouth and you say about yourself you're going to just become that or you're going to manifest that this is something i want you to always remember so the things that you desire in your life as i said before as it is in your mind as you speak it as you walk to it becomes your reality. Where's the harm in saying, I am blessed? Well, people go to the, the point where they say, I'm highly favored. Well, what is wrong with that? I am blessed. And if you see yourself as blessed, then none of the situations or the circumstances that are around you that are affecting you at the moment will change the fact that you are blessed. It's just a shifting of your consciousness. Understanding that everything you desire, you're able to create, not just with your mind, but your action. But start out with the simple thing of accepting that you are all there is to be, who you can become, and don't let someone else define who you are or your circumstances to dictate where you go. I am blessed. And if I start talking about the ways in which I am blessed, listen, it's going to take forever. I choose to see myself as blessed. And even the negative, negative things that happened in the past, I see how that was a blessing. So today we are going to shift our consciousness and we're going to choose to see the great things that are happening in our life. To see the blessings, whether it is the universe removing people from our lives that are not good for us, or you know, even sickness in the body that cause you now to recognize the importance of life, and so on and so forth. Okay, so take care of yourself, do the things for yourself that you would want someone else to do, and speak positive over your life, over your children's life, over your partner's life. You know, do not invite negative energy around you or negative people who will use their mouth and condemn you. Speak life. As soon as someone says something negative to you, speak life and cancel what they say. Stay blessed, everybody. Just think on these things. Focus on what I'm saying, which is a positive thing. And just walk, walk 
walk, walk with God. Stay blessed.